2020 is finally over, everybody. We are starting off with 2021, and now this is going to be our first upload for the BBL of this year, and hopefully will we... We we what um we we uh, we will be able to win a championship uh, at the end of it all. So for this week, we are facing Tapu Trevi in his Long Island Gold Ducks. His channel and stuff will be down below for you guys to go ahead and go check out. So timestamp on your screen right now for those of you who just want to skip right into the actual battle itself. So looking at the team preview here, easily the biggest biggest threats going into this game. Are going to be Groudon, obviously, because that thing as an Uber is disgusting. It's so ridiculously bulky, and it can be mixed, it can be Swords Dance, just rock polish. Like, there's so many things that Groudon could run, honestly, in this matchup. Uh, Thunderous is also something I'm a little bit concerned about. Like, yeah, we do have Zero Aura, but it could still be a bit of, a bit of an issue, depending on what set it's running. I'm also a little bit concerned about the... Galar Zapdos depending on what set it could be running just because offensively it is pretty difficult for my draft to switch into uh, I really don't expect Heatran plus Bronzong to come to this game uh, Just because uh, Heatran already just has an amazing matchup and I figure if he wants to choose a steel type That's probably uh, the best to come Golbat, Reggie Drago and the Cutie Fly are the three mons I really don't expect I'm also kind of on the fence on whether or not he decides to bring both Gardevoir and Amoongus. Both of them do have actually pretty good matchups, so I could see both of them potentially coming, but offensively wise, he has a better chance of something else doing more work than both of them coming, so either Gardevoir or Amoongus I definitely expect in this match. Probably Gardevoir just because Amoongus gets utterly stopped by Yveltal, and that's actually something I'm really banking on in this match here, as you'll see. So, as... You can tell from your screen here, we have Black Glasses Offensive Yveltal with Substitute. This thing is able to absolutely murder Trev's entire team, basically. This thing is going to be able to put in so, so much ridiculous work, especially if I'm behind a sub. That means I don't have to worry about a Thunderous outspeeding me or something like a Scarf Gardevoir potentially outspeeding me, which is amazing. I can sub up on Amoongus if he does decide to bring it. And if I'm behind a sub, that means I can also deal with Groudon a little bit easier because I get off two hits as opposed to one. And same thing for the... Um, Galar Zapdos. So yeah, sub 3 attacks is just really good here, I think. Next up, we have The Rock with the Air Balloon, which is obviously here to help me try and check Groudon because I'm so, so terrified of it. Uh, Toxic hits the Groudon. It hits the Suicune if needed, as well as the Thunderous and potentially the Regi Drago, although I really don't expect Regi Drago, but hey, Toxic is just really nice in this matchup regardless. Grass Knot obviously smacks the Groudon, Knock Off, and Plasma Fist basically hit everything for a really good damage. Next off, we have Latias here, which is more or less my main switch into Groudon. Uh, with the Citrus Berry, we should always be able to live any non-plus-2 Life Orb hits. Well, we should be able to live two non-plus-2 Life Orb hits from the Groudon, which is really nice because then we can Grass Knot and uh, just absolutely murder it, which is nice. So yeah, Latias definitely has a good matchup here as a nice pivot. Next off, we have what is potentially going to be our win condition. So the first thing I noticed from looking at Trev's team is that he has no dark type. Now, yes, he does have the Bronzong, but as I mentioned, I don't expect him to bring Bronzong and Heatran, which means if he only brings Heatran, uh, this Clefable set can honestly just win. Like, this is able to... Basically live any one hit from anything that is not offensive Groudon and then from there I can just start calm minding up uh, Just being really really fat and eventually store power is gonna be able to put in a lot of work uh, unaware with uh, Heavy duty boots could think that we have uh, magic guards, so that could definitely come in handy for us uh, This is also just a really good or save check to any type of setup he would potentially want to bring against me. More importantly though, this can beat Suicune 1v1 if absolutely necessary because of Unaware. And even though Unaware does ignore boost, because we are boosting, it doesn't ignore our boost. So store power is just going to be doing so much ridiculous damage 
to the Suicune. Next off, we have Nido King here, which is rocking dual hazards, ice beam, and earth power. This is also kind of my check to the Galar Zapdos. I'm hoping that we will be able to poison it with the poison point. From there, it should be a little bit easier to deal with, though. T spikes are super free in this matchup because, again, a part of me really does not expect the Amoongus just because Yveltal basically murders it and beats it 1v1 and we also have Latias and Jirachi which are psychic types that could potentially deal with Amoongus 1v1 so T-Spike's definitely going to come in handy in this matchup and Golbat is not coming to this game like I would literally bet money that Golbat's not coming to this game so not worried about that so hopefully T-Spike's can come in handy here this not only acts as a check to the Zapdos but also the Thunderous which I fully expect to come to this game and then finally we have Ric Flair with the Assault Vest set here for attacks this is able to check any of his specially offensive mons and be able to either beat them down or uh, pick them off which is really nice so yeah just a good pivot in the end and that's going to be our squad for this match so let's get this started all right if you skip to this point in the video uh the rest of this match is going to be live calm Okay, I think only the first like three turns are going to be post con because we tried to do this on Wi-Fi, we couldn't do it on Wi-Fi, and then I think we ended up playing the night before uh, Christmas or like a few nights before Christmas, and he was going out of town, so we were like, okay, it's super late, let's just do this on Showdown to get it over with. So yeah, we played on Showdown, rest of the season though will be on Wi-Fi with face cam as well, so yeah, just apologize that we're kind of getting uh, BBL off to a bit of a rough start here at the beginning of uh, 2021 so okay boss youtube ak what's up youtube your durham dragons are taking on tapu trevi his channel and stuff will be down below so definitely go ahead and check him out i did go over uh the sets that i was bringing to this match again only the first three turns will be post calm the rest of the match will be live calm and i would put the video of the wi-fi turns that we did have but then because it was only like three turns it's just like well what's the point uh, i figure i might as well just do them real quickly here post calm and then live calm will be on showdown so yeah looking at this matchup uh really surprised that he brought both bronzong and heatran and really really caught off guard that he brought reiji drago i really don't know why he brought reiji drago um that was a very bold uh bring for him to want to decide on here um offensively though groudon if it's set up is very scary uh galar zapdos depending on the set could be very scary i have no idea what heatran or suicune are potentially going to want to run here in this matchup regardless though my best lead is more than likely going to be my needle king just because i can get up either my stealth rocks or t-spikes up immediately as i do go for my rocks here on the heat train he brings in the bronzong i have nothing to hit this bronzong so i'm gonna make an aggressive switch directly actually do i have t-spikes on this needle king i'm not sure honestly i'm sorry i think i do have two spikes uh but yeah i end up bringing in my yavato here on the bronze because there's nothing that he should do to my bronze that should threaten me as he ends up going for the light screen it's fine because now i can go for the knockoff as he switches into the heatran and from here on out the rest of the match will be live calm so yeah test test hello hello hey so this might be pretty impromptu but yeah, we're facing off against uh, Tapu Trev here. Unfortunately, we had some issues with Wi-Fi and stuff. So, yeah, here we are on Showdown. So, we played like the first two turns on Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, we got those two turns out the way. As in comes the Bronzong. So, this most likely does have the Light Clay. Which uh, could be a little bit annoying. I kind of want to bring in my Nidoking here just because... I can get up T-Spikes, and I don't think he may have a Psychic move. Even if he does, we have, what's it called, the Payapa Berry, because I thought he would bring Thunderous, but he didn't. So his dual screens probably goes for rocks here, that's fine. It's not the worst thing ever. So my question is, what does he have to really do any damage to me with? So I kind of want to bring in Yveltal here. And then probably just go for Dark Pulse or Knock Off. Yeah, with T-Spikes up, his switch-ins are very limited too. So he doubles in a Heatran, okay. Um, unfortunately, Reflect is up. So... Yeah, my Knock Off will not quite finish it off. And then, as you can see, Dark Pulse might be a roll. Hmm... 
Actually, he's got one turn of light screen. I'm just going to Dark Pulse. I'm going to risk it. No, do we flinch? Ah, okay. So, a little risky play there. I mean, I could have subbed. Actually, that would have saved us 7% on your belt. I think if I was on Wi-Fi, I probably would have subbed there. Just to have been safe. But yeah, we knock out the Heatran here. So, we gain back a nice 2%. Heatran is gone, which is amazing for my Clefable. Because it could just win, honestly. I just gotta figure out what the last move on those Bronzong is. T-Spikes are up, which is great. Poison's Groudon, Suicune, and the Reggie Drago. Uh, Zapdos could honestly come in here. I think my switch in is probably going to be my Clefable. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, Bird is a problem. Honestly, do I even need Needle King at this point? Like, he doesn't have removal on anything, so I don't think I really need Needle King anymore in this game. So I could just switch into Needle King. In hopes that he does go for like the thunderous kick and then we are poison points so oh no did i change it to poison point yes oh, okay good <laughs> i got so scared for a second there but um we're not in too bad of a spot here we are uh, hazard wise really really good yaveltal being low is a little scary i'm not gonna lie yaveltal being this low is a little scary yeah so in comes the john weak mr weak as i said i think we're just gonna bring in nido king here we still have use for Yveltal. Yveltal definitely just clicks Dark Pulse for free after we're able to chip down this uh, Zapdos a little bit longer. If he subs, that could be a little scary maybe. Uh, not really. I guess because we're still a Needle King. We're pretty bulky. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Max, almost max HP, 52 defense. And we're doing enough damage to where we break us up very, very easily. So I'm going to switch right into my Needle King here. He could also go for U-turn, potentially. He does Thunderous Kick. Poison Point. Ah, uh, no Poison Point. Darn. Um, never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. So he could definitely Brave Bird here. I think I can Jirachi. Well, I mean, I really don't need Needle King. I really don't. Ice Beam. No, it's Weakness Policy. I lost. All right, well, that's game. Um... Can we poison? Hmm, that would be a problem. Uh, that is definitely a problem, actually. Hold on. Ooh, acrobatics does a lot. Store power does not do enough back. Oh, Jesus, that does zero. Uh, I got a Clefable here and just... I'm going to softball to see how much it does. But we aren't aware. Oh, dude, this is why I wish I had Boots. No, not Boots, sorry. I wish I had Moonblast. I was, like, so set on store power just, like, winning, man. Oh, if we had Moonblast here, we just clean knocked him out, too. If he's, like, max attack, he can 2 a KO us. Potentially. Yeah, there's like a good percent. If he's adamant, it's probably a 2 a KO. Hmm. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, this could just win, honestly. Like, this could just sweep me. Dude, I was not expecting this at all. Really good bring on his end. Oh, man, we're about to get bodied. <laughs> we're about to get destroyed, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, I just completely overlooked this. I completely overlooked this thunderous, man. Darn. Oh, it only did 45. Okay. Uh, it only did 45. So he's definitely not adamant. I'm going to calm mine once, I think. If I can calm mine once and we still live two, then I can beat this 1v1 if anything. I may lose Clefable in the process, but this not sweeping us would be really great right now. I'm also kind of worried Groudon might be weakness policy too. Uh, we have Latios, but it's a little low. 
Man. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. He has some attack investment. But if we get plus one, plus one, we're, we're able to 2 KO him. So the question is, is he going to do it again? No, okay, so he brings in bronze on, okay. So now that Zapdos is no longer a problem, which is great, by the way. Oh, so I could do a whole 2%. <laughs> uh, what if I could do, like, plus 6? Oh, that still does nothing. Hmm... I, man, this Bronzong is actually kind of annoying. I did not expect him to bring the Bronzong. He could definitely go for the light screen here. So I think I'm going to make an aggressive switch into Zeraora, maybe. If I Zeraora, he probably goes for what? Toxic? Not Toxic, sorry. He goes for light screen. And then I can Toxic, maybe, or knock off. Actually, knock off wouldn't be bad. I'm a Zeraora here. Yeah, so he does light screen. We can knock off now. Knock off should be pretty free here. If he stays in, that would be huge. That would be huge if he stays in. If he switches out, whatever comes in is either getting toxic or getting knocked out. So, knock off here is definitely the play. He did go for the light screen there. I could have gone for the combine as well. Yes! Okay, so he let us get this damage off. Uh, I am all for this, dude. Explosion, okay. That is a little scary. We still have Underwork Clefable at full. Uh, I feel like this is where he brings in Groudon, which I think I'm going to Toxic Groudon. Well, actually, no, it's going to be Toxic already. Never mind. Mm, could I have got up a second layer with Nido King? Yeah, maybe. Nah, it's not that big of an issue, I suppose. All right, so this is his last round of the screens. The screens are definitely a problem. Dude, this is <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> These screens are a little annoying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't know if I should knock off or grass knot first. Uh, neither of which do damage <laughs> because he's behind screens. Oh, boy. This is terrifying. So I do some damage with Grass Knot. So yeah, I'd rather just do the damage here. As he rock polishes, okay. Hmm. Do I need this anymore? Not really, because, I mean, Clefable wins once this is gone. Yeah, once this Groudon is gone, I just win with Clefable. Uh, the problem is, though, getting rid of this Groudon. <laughs> That's the only problem. Grass on, are we faster? Oh, he missed! Oh, that's so huge! Oh, man, that was huge. That was really huge. He probably thought I would switch out. I thought he would go for a fire move. I was thinking, okay, he could go for, like, Heat Crash here. He could go for Fire Punch. Bro, okay, so this thing is not getting a lot of kills. Is it Life Orb? Be Life Orb. Don't be Burst Berry, thank you. Hmm. I feel like I could bring in Latios here, maybe. And just go for the recover. Uh, well, if he has Dragon Claw, that could be a little bad, I suppose. If I bring in Clefable... I can soft boiled back up. I think I'm gonna risk Latios. And I'm just gonna recover. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if he would have Dragon Claw or not, honestly. With Stone Edge, like, Stone Edge plus Dragon Claw coverage against me is not really the best. Why did he press up his blades? I mean, okay, so the calc here says Stone Edge, even if he's adamant max attack. It only does 35 to 41. So, we would have lived. But I'm not sure why he went for press up his... Not press up his blade. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure why he went for that. Okay. 
So we're sitting in a good spot right now. We've managed to get rid of the screens for the most part. His setup sweepers have been... Well, his aggressive setup sweepers, I should say. I wonder what item he was running on the ground on. I'm not sure. But Thunder, dude, that Zapdos, oh my lord, that Zapdos had me so scared. That Zapdos had me terrified. SOS. In comes the sweep. Oh, sorry, what, what am I doing? <laughs> In comes the Suicune. I don't know why I was singing um, Kobe Kingston's theme there for a second. Uh, I think I'm going to make an aggressive Yveltal switch here. Just because if he doesn't call mine, and if he does Scald, okay, that's fine. I mean, I was like, well, if he Scalds, then it's not the worst thing ever, right? So that was a little bit risky on my end, I suppose. So we could... Um, no, I want to keep Jirachi healthy. I think I can just come mine here. With Clefable and the game is over. Yeah, uh, I I'm not sure. Because we're unaware, so even if he burns us oh dude no i don't want to say it because i don't want it i don't want it to come to life but there's a way you can still win there's a way you can still win but i'm gonna call mine here immediately as he brings in the zapdos okay so we're back to this from earlier so we're at plus one plus one zapdos has no boost obviously I'm surprised they still don't have anything for Zapdos here. As we know, he did about 45% earlier. Yeah, so he's definitely not running a lot of attack investment. Sorry, I know I, I know, I keep going back to it, but... Um, I can store power here. Oh no, light screen is gone. And we 2 a KO regardless. If I call mine again... We just straight finish him off, and I think we win from there. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I really want to risk... the acrobatics. I really feel like he goes for acrobatics here. So I kind of want to bring in Jirachi. Just click Psychic, maybe? Nah, I'm going to store power. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why he did that. Uh, but down goes the... Zapdos. Okay, see, look, I was just completely overthinking everything. <laughs> I was just overthinking everything. So if I had brought in Jirachi there. If I had brought in Jirachi there, like I mentioned, then that would have been bad. So uh, luckily we didn't make that play, so we're sitting in a pretty good spot right now. We are up 3-2. T-Spikes are up. Rocks are up. We're at plus one with our Clefable here. So, there's not really much that we have to worry about. Even though he got the defense drop, we are unaware, and then Suicune and Regidrago are both um, specially offensive anyways, so. Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. I do feel a little bit bad about just, like, hard switching in Yveltal on Suicune, but I was like, well, if he goes for Scald, then in the sun, I should probably live, right? But no, like, he busted out the Ice Beam and was like, Wacha! he just got me on that one, so, yeah. Uh, in comes the Suicune here. Uh, I'm going to store power first, see what he wants to do. Okay, so nice 12%. We're going to soft boiled. We have the heal bell. So even if even if he burns us, it shouldn't be too bad. As he goes for the rest on a soft boiled, I'm going to calm mind here. Is he calm mind himself? I'm not sure yet. I mean, even if he's calm mind, we're unaware. So yeah, I don't, I don't really care about this burn, honestly. Like this is game. Clefable just wins. I'm surprised by how much work Clefable's been doing, honestly, in the BBL. Like, it's an Ubers League, and it's just been putting in so much work, honestly. Maybe it's from the support of the rest of our team. I'm not too sure, but uh, it's definitely been putting in a lot of work. So, yeah, we call mine again, and now we can Heal Bell here. Yeah, so he goes for Skull. We can Heal Bell. Uh, soft Bowl to back up. We should be good to just start stored powering and doing damage, baby. Yeah, so I think we're at plus three, right? Yeah, so we're at plus three. I'm going to go straight for the store power. He crits me. That did nothing, by the way. Ooh, clean to a KO. So we can soft bolt here. Heal bell again. Yeah, sorry if I'm just kind of like skipping guys, but like... 
I don't I don't really know what else to say. Like at this point I just call mine and I win. As you saw there, I crit did nothing. So I can call mine one more time. Uh soft bold here. Then heal bell and then try to store power again. Okay, I'm gonna try and not skip <laughs> this time. So I'm gonna heal bell this next turn. And then go for store power. Man, this was a crazy game. Because I really thought that Zapdos, like, had us beat early on. And I'm really happy, though, that Clefable just came through. Like, this was the whole reason I wanted to bring this set. I was like, this set literally just wins once Heatran is gone. I didn't expect them to bring Heatran and Bronzong. But once Heatran uh, dropped... I, actually, no, even if he had Heatran. I guess once Bronzong dropped. Because I thought he would bring Heatran, but not Bronzong. Hyper Beam? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> so, yeah, we pull out a victory here. 3 0 for this week of the BBL. I think now we are 6 2, which is awesome. So, yeah, this is either our first game or last game of the year. I'm not sure. Um, it might be the first of 2021. I'm not sure, but if it is, then we got it off to a great start. If it's the last one of 2020, we ended it off great as well. So, thank you all for watching. With that being said, I will see you all next week with BBL week number seven. So, later, everybody. Let's make this 2021 hopefully a good, good year. So, later. My brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from crying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared, I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain, tears, or hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real